increased demand on the commercial motor vehicle industry right now with backlogged shipping channels, sick, and even a lot of experienced but retired drivers, they're desperate to fill their seats and to carry on their loads. So what a lot of these companies are doing is they're hiring inexperienced, untrained, or undertrained drivers, putting them behind the wheel, and they're making them go on these long trips across the country with little to no oversight. They're doing everything they can to meet their quota. So they're hiring these inexperienced drivers, they're putting them behind the wheel with very little training, and they're pushing them to their limit. They're making them drive far uh, routes, back home, do it again. So what we're seeing is the increase of routes being driven by inexperienced drivers. And at the same time, we're seeing the trucking companies put less and less oversight. They're not complying necessarily with the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations. They're doing everything they can to maintain their profit while they give safety a backseat. COVID aside, we're still dealing with the supply shortage. Um, you know, whether the pandemic gets under control right now, there's still backlogged shipments. And so what they're doing is they're trying to put as many people on the road as possible to get the goods where they go. And every trucking company has a right to profit. There's nothing wrong with profit, but they're doing it at the expense of putting untrained, unqualified, unsupervised drivers on the road, pushing them to their brink and just trying to make sure that they can maintain their profits. They can't skirt the regulations and they have to make sure that they're enforcing those rules as required by the federal law with each and every one of their employees and drivers. The drivers are overworked right now. Uh, like I said, there are many sick drivers, many forced in retirement of the experienced driver group. And so there are younger inexperienced drivers who are just trying to put food on their table and, and you know, provide for their families and they're being pushed to their, to their limit. They have to drive across the state, across the nation on long hauls. And as soon as they're done with one trip, they have to turn around and do another one. A lot of times the problem we're seeing is hour of service violations. There's a limited number of hours they can drive in a week and drive in a day. There's mandatory breaks. And a lot of these trucking companies are not giving their drivers the breaks that are required. They're pushing them to the extremes. And that's the reason we're seeing a lot of these fatal consequences that we're reading about and seeing about on the news.